Alright guys, so as you can see, we have done a little bit of work on some Tinker's Construct stuff. We have some more patterns here in our inventory. Uh, we went and did a lot more bronze because uh, I was getting sick and tired of uh, having to do it on camera. So let's pour... What have I done? I've done it wrong, haven't I? Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, yeah. Okay, I didn't do it wrong. Wooden tool rods. Let's put you in there. Let's make a tool binding. Let's put you in there. Let's make a pickaxe head. Um, zero cost of one. I don't get it. Why? Why are these sticks different? Okay, they're not. Uh, why can't I make a pickaxe head? Material cost one. Does it have to be made out of something better? Maybe cobblestone. Let's have a look. Stone. I've got the rest of the stuff. Let's try putting cobblestone in here. Place the pattern left on them. It's got to be maybe iron. Okay. What is going on here? I've got the wooden tool rod. The pickaxe head material cost one. These are point five. That's eight, and we've made that. I don't get why this isn't just all of a sudden not working. Oh. Okay, Tinker's contract just messed my head up like that. I guess. Uh, let's make sure it's set to gold. It is. Let's cast these. We're going to have to put some more gold in there afterwards. Looks like we're running pretty low on the gold. Uh, I did try and go mining, but unfortunately my pickaxe broke, so I don't have a lot of stuff. There we go. Pour the last one. Okay, so those are done. Keep them like that. Let's throw not the cleaver. Let's throw you in there, switch back to bronze, pour, perfect, pour ourselves a tool rod, I'm not sure if I need two or one of these, so we'll pour two, just because we can afford it right now, and we'll pour the last one, and we should be able to make ourselves a pickaxe, let's come on over to here, Put all of you away, put you guys away. And then, where's the crafting one? This is the crafting one. So we're trying to make pickaxe. Put you in that. Give me a back, thank you. Okay, just stay on the pickaxe, please. Then, well, they're in the wrong spots. And there we go, we have a reinforced bronze pickaxe. I did want to make one of... I can't remember which one it is. Oh, the scythe sounds pretty cool. Battle axe. But uh, apparently, if I combine these with diamonds, I believe it was. Let me have a little look-ski here. Grab myself a diamond. And we combine this with that. Okay, let's have a little read through this book again. I can't remember how that was done. There was a way to add modifiers on. It told us at the very end. Where was it? Here. Oh, it has to be done in the tool station. Okay. Okay, let's go and add this on in the tool station. Just because we want. We'll go like that. 
Thank you for that. And that gives us a plus 500 durability. Looks like I can add a redstone in here. I believe we have some of that. Let's go get some redstone. Let's try and make this a nice, good pickaxe. Get this. I know we might have to craft it into blocks, but I believe we have a crafting table out here now. Yeah, we do. Let's see if we throw you and you in. Oh, we can go more than once. Haste. Okay, well we're gonna go... We're gonna go to... Oh wait, one modifier remaining? I can't add any more? Oh, I can. Okay, well I'm gonna go up to... The max redstone on this, and then we'll be right back, guys. I wanna see how good this is. So apparently I went past the limit of uh, 50 on here if I put it in. As you see there was a modifier 1 extra up here. Uh, but I accidentally did redstone instead. I thought it would lock me out after I'd done the 50. But that's a... Yeah. It's good. It's good. It isn't ridiculously crazy good though. Like... I expected that to be a little bit quicker, but you know, can always, uh, beggars can't always be choosers. Do I have any more diamonds? I don't have any material. I've got to go on like a little massive mining spree right now, guys, and then we will, uh, hopefully not damage this too much. And we'll be right back. I need to get some more material for today's crafting. Okay, I was just reading through the tool book guide theme a bit. And there's something better than the regular hammer. I was reading just before I went on my mining exploration, actually. Where is that hammerhead? That looks like it. Hammerhead pattern. Okay, so I needed a hammerhead pattern. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. And then I needed this pattern, and then I needed the tough rod cast, I believe. The easy way to find out is just to come back in here. Yeah, tough rod cast. So. What I've got to do. Okay, yes. Let's do this right first time this time. Like so, get the wooden hammer, put that in there. Let's cast the wooden hammer out of gold. Cool. Okay, and then we should be able to do plates after. Place you in. Bronze. Cast that in the meantime, throw you away. That's taking a lot. Oh, I'm hearing mobs. Hey, buddy. Yeah, this uh, this cleaver I made, I like. Does loads of damage. We gotta cast two of these. One. These ones usually take the most. I've got to make two of them this time. This one. Cast another one. Believe it looks like a tough rod. I didn't really look at the menu or the crafting recipe for this. I kind of just looked at the pictures, you know, what you do like when you're a kid. That's me. Oh, okay, cool. This cleaver likes I like it because it swings slow but does loads of damage. It's pretty cool. <gasps> Oh, I'm so glad we turned mob griefing off on the server. That right there could have just been the bane of my existence. And we have ourselves a reinforced one hammer. And this says it mines a 3x3 three three pattern. Oh my god. Okay, we... First of all, we're going to go mining with this. Because I want to get some diamonds to add durability. To this bad boy right here and uh, I believe if I read this again emeralds did good things as well let's skip all the way to the very end let's see what the emeralds did yeah emeralds 50% more durability mining level increased to 2 500 extra. okay so if I do diamond and emerald and redstone I won't be able to do slimes. It slowly repairs itself, actually. 
What is this? Attaching moss. How do we get moss? Hold up, I think I'm in admin mode right now. Slash D op. Okay, yes. I was in admin mode because I was helping one of the guys. Ball, I think it's moss. Mm. Moss, I guess you just have to find it in a swamp biome. Uh, we're going to go mining right now, and then we will have a look. Where's my mine shaft? It's through here and on the other side. We're going to go mining, and then we're going to have a look for the... Uh, the moss guys because I really want some of that that'd be cool all right after a very successful mining trip as you can see we used a little bit of durability on our pickaxe not a lot to be honest though and I've got loads of this I need to smelt some iron which I believe oh, I didn't do I want to make another automatic uh, whatever they are an automatic system again uh, we're gonna have to put all of this back because we got a lot that run. Uh, we got this bush that I wanted to plant as well. A tin or berry bush? I don't know how it works yet. But all I know is I got this tin or berry from it. And I don't know. We're going to see what it does. Just throw it outside. Does that have to be planted on dirt? I'm going to guess it has to be planted on dirt. Uh, do I not have any dirt? I do, thank God. Oh, there we go. Okay, mm. game. Don't know why. We're having a little bit of lag right now. What was this planted on? Was it planted on stone? I don't have any stone. Might have to. We're going to have to do a little bit of research on that one then, again. Just a lot of research in this series because uh, I have no clue how half this stuff works. As you can see, we've got some slime and stuff in here. We've got a blank cast, I don't know when I did that, but clearly that was a mistake. Oh, let's take this, let's take one of those, and let's take 64 redstone. And let's go beef this guy up for now. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to find moss this episode, so we might as well just increase the durability. Is this not one that you can do it to? Okay, here we go. Put that in. Put that in. And... Yeah, now we got to do this again and level up to level 50, so we're going to do that, wait for the iron to smelt, and then we'll make an automatic furnace on thingy, on camera. Whoops. I'd love to enchant my steak, but I can't. Alright, so we maxed these two out. Well, I maxed the hammer out, not the pickaxe completely. I did do some improvements to it. Let's grab these out. I know i got wood in here. Let's. This is some... Some old Minecraft stuff, I guess you could say. We're gonna need a total of three chests. Well, more than that. I don't even know if hoppers are in this version. I'm hoping so. They are beautiful. Let's put you in. Make three of you. Get all of you back. Alright, let's make this system because I am sick of having ores that aren't smelted. So. Very, very simple. Gonna build it on the side of my tiny house. Chest. That. Furnace. Hopper going into the top. Chest. We have to mine this block because it is indeed in the way. This. Uh, chest. Coal goes in the side, ores that you want smelted go in the top, it lights up and all the stuff comes out magically at the bottom. We are going to need a lot more coal because uh, we have a lot of ores to melt down here and we only have 19 coal, which is not good. I'm going to need to make more seared bricks as well to expand 
the height of the oh my god the height of the Tinker's Construct thing. Oh wait, no 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 no. I don't want to put this ore in there. What am I thinking? This stuff needs to go in here to make bronze. Uh, what was the combo? It was tin and copper for bronze, but first of all we're going to obviously dump all of our gold in. Ah, we need to raise this up. This is going to be full so quick. Um, let's make another chest just for the ingots that we're going to keep out here. Or maybe two. Oh, I guess that works too. And those out. And we're just going to keep a bunch of ores out here because uh, otherwise it's going to get awkward. There we go. This is all stuff that's going to go, or oh, like, going to go into there. So I we'll have to figure that out at a later date. But I guess iron can go in here. I'm not sure if you can make iron tools. Uh, let's type in. Tinkers. Leather fletching? No, that's not that. Slime hammerheads. Steel hammerheads. I would love, I believe, pig iron hammer is the best. And then Ali might then steal. Don't quote me on that, obviously. I'm not. A paper hammer. We can look right now. Which one does the most damage? Let's, let's just go through the rapiers. Obviously none of those. A. Looked like the best one was the Malium. I have no idea how to say that, but... Yeah, Malium. Let's figure out how to make some Malium and see if we have enough resources. Alrighty guys, so I've been looking through a few things I want to make a slaughterhouse. And to make a slaughterhouse, I need to make pulverizer to get invile ore. So we're looking at copper ingots, which I know we've got. This. So glass. Steel ingots, which I'm making outside. Figured out how to make steel after a little bit of googling. I'm actually just putting iron into a thingy. So we need glass. I believe we have some sand somewhere we can smell. Oh. We can easily go grab some sand. I know where I've got loads of it, so let's throw that in there. Uh, I put my shovel away somewhere. I need that, thank you. Let's run down here. Let's grab ourselves some sand. Uh, there's none really in a nice spot, but... We don't need a lot. I'm going to make a few of these because I know I need these things for a lot of stuff. So we're just going to go ahead and get as much as we can before we drown. Looks like Surge and Phobia have just got online now. They did say hi to me, but I am recording, so I will answer them in a gif when I'm done. I know they need help with something something in the mod pack admin and stuff, but we're not going to worry about that right now. We are going to go ahead in here and get some sand smelted. Let's take that out. Okay, the steel can wait. Let's get some sand in there. Thank you. And then we'll pulverize that and that. And then we're going to come into this bad boy in here, and I believe it was steel in these four corners. A piece of gold. Oh no, do we not have a piece of gold? Oh, thank god, we have loads of gold. I'm glad I did not smelt all of this down into the thingy. Sorry, iron, you're getting snagged back out again for the gold. Let's get some gold going, and then that can go. Oh no, don't smelt the therese. And then this stuff can go and make ourselves some more steel. Let's go ahead. We have to wait for that to craft up. We're not going to need any more steel because it should all be in here. Yep. We need the glass and the gold. Let's just double check that that's how that built. Glass, steel, gold. Beautiful. Four pieces of 
glass. Perfect. So then we're going to take that out and get some gold going because we only need one piece. This it'll pop out at the bottom when it's done because of the automatic system. Come on, pop out. Perfect. Let's go make ourselves one of these. We're then going to have to. I should be able to just go like this. Go like this. Go like that. Oh. It doesn't auto put the stuff in for me. That's a shame. And there we go, we have ourselves a machine frame, and from here we need flint, a piston, which is wood, cobblestone, redstone, and iron. Uh, redstone, I have cobblestone, we need a piece of iron. Perfect, look at that, we, it's like we already knew what we were doing today, guys. Let's get ourselves a piston. Tells you what order it goes in and everything. It's lovely. Get one of these bad boys. Then let's make ourselves a pulverizer. The copper ingots, I have to grab them. And then I should have flint. We don't have flint, it don't look like. Um, okay. Let's grab the copper out of here. There was, or should be, some gravel right here, yeah. Oh, only one piece? I did get a flint from it though, which isn't too bad. Don't have any flint on me, hey? Weird. Well, we have got one other piece of gravel in here, and we do only need two pieces of flint. I can't believe that I've only got, like, the one flint. Give me flint. Am I really gonna have to sit here this hot? I was gonna say this seems a bit ridiculous. Now we should have all of the things. Oh no, we don't. We haven't crafted this bad boy yet, which I believe is just redstone, gold, redstone. Okay. Let's go down the view. Gold, thank you. Redstone, gold, redstone. Close that up because it is becoming nighttime again. Seems like the night cycle is ridiculously fast. Let's get ourselves a pulverizer. Here it is, guys. You go there. That goes there. That up there. You there and you there. And there we have it. Our first piece of thermal expansion gear, guys. We're going to have to make, obviously, another layer because this is getting awfully cramped in here. But. There it has it. Uh, I've now got to watch a video on these steam engines because I know I have to make, I believe it was two of them. Oh my God. Copper, no problem. Redstone, no problem. Copper gear, iron surrounded by copper. Let's see how much copper we have. Oh, we have loads, okay. All right, well, we just need to grab ourselves some iron and then we can craft these up, make some copper gears and stuff. Um, we're going to steal that iron script. Let's get to crafting this bad boy. So, we need you. Two of these, so two in each slot, like a so. Bang that out. Come to the steam engine. It's going to be, oh, what's this? Silver ingot. We don't have any of those. Okay, guys, we're going to go smelt silver ingot, make this thing. Uh, there's some silver ore. And then we'll be right back when it's ready. Okay, so we have all of the things now. Let's put this together. Take that out. For some reason, that was in there. Where is she? Yeah. That is our first steam dino. We're going to make another one of these out of the material we have here. I have another silver smelting over there. And uh, then we're going to see how this thing works. I know I need a lot of coal for it. But I don't know what colours what. So I'm going to have to watch a little video on how to do it first. Guys, give me a minute. Alright, so looking at the video, that looks like it's how it should be. I'm going to need a lever and some coal. Oh, I'm going to have to literally go on a coal mining trip soon. I just want to see if this is going to work. 
got that and then we need a lever. Do I have I do have the stuff on me? Let's craft the lever. Um Okay, let me figure out how the steam dinos work. Um, maybe it has to be at the back of it. I don't really want to break this, but I guess we are. Let's put this. Yeah, let's just clean up a little bit. We've got a load of stuff in our inventory that is not necessary. Just empty all of that out. Uh, maybe this just has to be at the back. No. Well, we're going to figure out how this bad boy works. Maybe this needs power to run this. I'm not too sure. Let's go look at that. Alright, so we've got the water in it. Figured out that you need water. Got the coal. Power it. Is this giving this RF? Steam's building up. Why is it not outputting RF? Oh god, what have I done? Um, oh it is! Oh sick, that thing's got RF. Will that store the RF once this runs out? Because we're going to run out of coal pretty quick here. I believe it should, it should store the RF. So you manually have to put water in this for now. Because I don't have an automatic way of putting water in it right now. So, oh it looks like the water's going to Oh this is storing RF up in it as well. Because this is maxed on RF. Okay, well, before this runs out, let's pulverize some of this ferrous. Oh, uh, where's the ferrous ore? Here. Let's pulverize some of the ferrous ore. Should be pulverizing. Beautiful, beautiful. And I believe I need to pulverize some iron afterwards. Uh, I'm not sure how much of this stuff I'm going to need. Obviously, I don't have a lot of ferrous, so... I'm probably going to be going mining, and I want to make this automatic, this uh, steam pump over here. I've got to go get loads of coal. Oh, look at that. Pulverized shiny metal. No idea what that does. But, got some of that as well. Let's pulverize this. I then need to pulverize some iron. And it looks like, oh, this is still generating RF right now. Don't have any more iron. Looks like we're going to be going on another mining trip, guys, because uh, Ryan is out of iron ore. I stole that, snagged it. Let's pulverize some iron ore. Yeah, buddy, that's how it works. And then I got to figure out the crafting recipe, which I believe I know. It was for. It was like this, this, and that. Not the steak, the pulverize. Yes, an Ivar blend. There we go. That's how you make the Ivar blend. And then from there, from what I know, is we need to, I don't know, figure out how to turn this from pulverized into ingots. So I'm going to have to go Google that and figure out how to do that. But uh, I'm glad we figured out some thermal expansion stuff. That's going down. Ah, oh, it's losing power because it's run out of stuff. What if I flick it off? Is that stored it now? Oh, it does. Okay, okay. So that's feeding this. I wonder because this is finished now. Oh, this is still fueling up. I wanna. I'm just gonna save it for a second. I wanna see when this flame runs out right here. Will this hold storage basically? Because right now it's letting out 17 RF per tick, 16 RF per tick. It's going down, but it is storing some. All right. If I flick this off now, it doesn't move. Cool. So that's got stored RF in it now, which is great. Let's go figure out how to turn this Ivar into our Ivar ingots so we can work on getting our uh, animal slaughterer. And at the same time, I'm going to start an animal farm right outside. So. This is going to be a big cut, but I don't want to show that boring stuff. That's typical Minecraft stuff like this I didn't want to show because that's such just boring, guys. I wanted to get into the stuff, fun stuff. So we'll be right back when we've got a farm. I'm going to play for a couple of hours. Once we've got the farm and once we've got the material to build the 
thingamabob that I was on about. I'll figure that out. <laughs> Be right back, guys. Okay, guys. So, I've spent a lot of time building a little contraption. I think it's going to work. Oh, I just exposed. Okay. I have also made a bunch of Invar stuff for the slaughterhouse. Even though I'm not too sure how it works, I'm hoping there's a bit more glass in here because I did have enough just to finish off. Perfect. Let's go get ourselves two cows. That guy up there wants to kill me. I'm hoping mushroom cows are going to work. I mean, they're technically just cows. Get away. Oh, come on, man. Chill, alright. I got. Oh, come on! Oh, so I not have. I hate not having a sprint key. Okay, oh, now I need to get this guy again. Come on, buddy. No. Oh, why do you have to no. kill? Oh, we got to take these guys to my special built no. contraption. Come on, no. make your way up. It should be a smoothish surface. Alright, let's take you over to this little glass slaughter box. Oh no. Uh oh. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I only have one of their attentions anyway. Oh, got him. Okay, get their attention back. Come on, buddy. Don't know why I'm trying to do this at night time. It wasn't the smartest idea. Are you coming? Yeah, you're coming. Are you coming? Come on. Come on. Oh, the bottom mm. of this wasn't built properly. Okay, I knew I didn't have enough glass. Oh, come on. Climb, boys, climb. Climb, climb, climb. Mm. Get in here. I built this perfect just for you. It's, it's for life. No. There, you're in. People behind me is going to mess us up. Okay. I rolled. I survived, but uh, we need to finish this off. Down here. Oh, I thought I finished it. Oh, I just broke my glass as well. Okay, well this right here is where the slot... Oh, guys, go away. I'm busy. This right here is where the slaughtering is going to happen, down here. So I made this nice little room. I want to block this off first of all, like that, because I need to breed a bunch of cows in here first. And that's basically all I'm going to be doing for the next couple of hours is... Mm. Building a way over there first to the center where they're all going to get pushed, like so. And then I'm just gonna jump in because I can't can't figure it out. Did they make a baby? They did. Okay, perfect. It works just like I wanted to. Uh, we're gonna have to get some ladders on the outside out here. That guy's a really cool hat. But I want to mass breed this so that I can just, you know, breed a cow and uh, for me, the baby will fall down here once I break that glass block. And that will be where the slaughterhouse is because I saw in the video that they don't kill um, babies, the slaughterhouses. So that was perfect. That's built. We're going to uh, work on some breeding now, guys. We'll be right back. Okay guys, so in preparation, as you can see, I did change the design from the one over there to this one. No! Oh! <laughs> Why did not all of you escape? Jesus, okay. Glad we caught that one we did. Jesus, that could have been terrible. There's a lot of them here now. I was wondering, I kept seeing random mushrooms walking around. I wanna knock all of you in. We'll do one more breed, and then we need to let them grow up, guys. Even though this slaughterhouse doesn't kill babies, I want, like, well, I can, this is the nice part, is I can breed them up here like this, and if I'm fast enough, as you can see, they just get popped out by my water system. I don't want to waste all my thing. As you can see, I've made a few things in preparation for today's episode, or 
the episode we started yesterday, but I'm recording the rest today. I made these tanks and stuff. Uh, I made this engine just now. If you want to know how all this stuff is made, tanks. Are... You can Google it. It's whatever. Uh, let's go make ourselves the slaughterhouse, which we have all of the stuff here for it. Let's grab. Uh, we can't fit it all. Let's clean up our inventory a bit. And then let's make this slaughterhouse because we've got to start placing some stuff now. Uh, as you can see, you need a lot and a lot of invar for this. I did go mining. I did get some more stuff, but after this episode, I'm gonna go for a. Oh, what did I forget? For everything. What did I forget? Plastic sheets, raw plastic. I need a sawmill. Are you kidding me? Before we were ready to make a slaughterhouse. Ball of glue. <sighs> well, <laughs> change plans, guys. All of that work was literally for nothing because I have to make a sawmill, which we actually have all the stuff for. I just need to make an iron axe. Grab this. Okay, we need to clean up our inventory here. Have a look at that. I have a spare chest in here. And this will be for the slaughterhouse stuff. We'll just leave all of this in here. Grab all of this out because I know we're going to need to put that back. Put that back. I've got to make another one of those redstone things. Uh, this is all just materials. This can go in here as farming stuff. Like so. There we go. Tidied up just a touch. Okay, now we need to make an iron... Uh, an iron pick, or an iron axe it was, sorry, an iron axe. Can't believe that after all of this prep, we need a bloody axe, a sawmill. Like, oh, that's so neat that the chest connects to it. Just pop this out of there then, pop you into there. We need the axe, we need two pieces of wood, and what should stay in there? Copper ingots, which I believe, hey buddy, you're one of the ones that escaped and I let survive. Uh, where have I put all my copper ingots? There they are, right here. Let's craft this bad boy, like so. And now we gotta figure out how to use this thing, because I didn't even know we were using this today. What is it? You need RF? Of course you need RF, so we're gonna have to make another steam dynamo. God damn it, man. So much for this being a cool episode where we slaughter some things, we've turned into a uh, little crafting thing. I can't remember. I believe blues intake. So, like that. Like that, like that. That should be generating. We need some cobblestone. We need another lever. I believe I have two levers in here. Ha! Good thing for making extra levers, eh? Like so. Come out here and flick this bad boy on. Oh, or sorry, flick this bad boy off. I was meant to make an infinite water source for these dynamos at the base. This is gonna be easier. Go like that, I have another water. No, I don't. Okay, grab another water. Like so. Sawmill is completely powered already. Can, can we just load you up? I guess it won't let me put any more water in. Okay, and now for the sawmill, it said we needed glue. So we're going to need... Let's grab our trusty axe here. Let's go cut down this tree a bit more. Apparently, we need some of this bad stuff. The glue. Then glue to make plastic sheets. And now I've got to follow this old tutorial, guys, on how to make plastic sheets. And you guys are going to join me on this one, because uh, the mistake happened on camera. We're going to fix it on camera. I think it'll be a nice one as well. At least we're getting into some more of this uh, 
This is the thermal expansion. Yeah, loads of thermal expansion stuff. So if I throw you in there, it says we have a 50% chance of getting glue. Sawdust? No. 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 I am actually getting more wood from the sawmill than I usually would, which is pretty cool. But I'm not getting glue. Maybe I didn't pay attention. Okay, mm. that doesn't seem to be working. You can chill, you've got enough RF for now. Let's go back in here. Let's go to the slaughterhouse. Here, plastic sheets, raw plastic, rubber bars, a ball of glue. <laughs> I need rubber wood, but I do know who has some rubber wood actually. The guys on the server do, I'm going to go steal some from them. Oh man, let's go get some of that. Alright, so one of the guys on the server was nice enough to give me this rubber sap thing. As you can see, we're getting back here at night time. I'm going to plant this, run inside. We're going to try and make some bone meal here. Um, I'm not sure. I hear a skeleton outside. A little bit of lag, what is going on? I'm going at six frames. There we go. We can spam opening the chest. Oops, I really need to organize. No bones. I do. Hear a lag. Okay, watch out. I'm on the server right now. Okay, we got the bone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, something's going on. can't even walk inside. Okay, that's... Let's take a cut. Jesus Christ. Okay, after taking that tiny cut, I have no clue what just happened. I literally didn't do anything except stop the recording and start it. Can we grow you? Cute. Let's cut this down. It's not giving us... Okay. Oh, it did give us another sad thing, thank god. It gave us raw rubber as well. Which... Oh, I'm not lucky enough. Oh, I got another one. Let's stick this up. Let's go plant another one over here. Just to get some more of these going. So I heard these are pretty rare and I would love to be able to give these out on the server. As soon as they're done. Uh, let's get the raw rubber wood running through here. Let's flick the dino back on. Jungle wood. Of glue, there we go. I don't know how many I need. Uh, I think we're gonna need a few, but it looks like we're pretty consistent on getting them, which is nice. Okay, so that was that. What was it? Slaughterhouse, click you, plastic. I have rubber. How do I make a rubber bar? I wonder if I can just... Can I just... It might be more than that. I'm gonna kill this skeleton that's right outside my door. Hey buddy, you have a nice... hat as well. Why are you guys only giving me one bone at a time? Okay, that's fine. Grow that. Grow that, perfect. Kinda wish it was daytime, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know if I can keep fighting these mobs. Do the wrong weapon. Do that. Let's do that. Farm up. I'm going to farm quite a bit of this because I feel like I'm going to need quite a bit of glue. Uh, I don't have anywhere else to plant this one. Ooh. Okay, let's get inside. Let's uh, see if we can craft these ingots. Okay guys, so we've got three raw plastic here, as you can see, all you got to do is burn the ball of glue, gives you a bar of rubber, even though I'm lagging, it's not going, don't know why it's doing this right now, put the rubber bar back through, and then once the ball of glue is done, I'm just going to take it out, the rubber will start burning, and then it will burn through, take that one out. So it doesn't confuse you guys, and it will burn through as raw plastic right there. So basically, it's a cycle. I've got a few of these trees growing, growing around now. 
I'm just gonna have to keep farming them, getting some some raw plastic. I believe that's enough to do one. I need four more. I believe it's like that. Yeah, plastic sheets. Four. Wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It gave us four of them. Can we now craft this? I think we can, guys. Oh, come on. Let's make another one of these. God damn it, okay, let's, redstone, gold, redstone, I don't know why I'm lagging so bad, we're gonna go make this and we'll be right back, what the hell, alright guys, let's try not to lag our way through this one now, do that, put all of these in, just where they need to go, I'm lagging again, I have no idea what's going on here guys, but we're just gonna have to live with it. Then the two plastic sheets, like so, and boom, guys, we've got ourselves a slaughter house. We're gonna go run this bad boy. I'm gonna need another dynamo, but they're really easy to create now. Now that we're progressing through, um, yeah, we're gonna have to get another dynamo. But, oh, that's what it is, they've all grown up. We have to do is can that work like that? I'm gonna hope that works like that and just run it like that. Let's go get another ourselves another. Okay, he's lagging through the block. Let's go get ourselves another steam dynamo. And let's kill this this lot right here. Um, let's do that, guys, quickly. Steam dynamo. Boom, boom, boom. Easy stuff. Let's get that. Alright, Steam Dynamo has been obtained. Let's get this thing rolling. Let's put you in there. Throw you in there. I know the way he had it out. It's already killing, guys, so this thing has no mercy. This should display the juices out to us. Oh, it is killing. Come on. No, 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 no. I did it. Okay, this can break it. I was very worried. I can't break this though. Uh, it has to come out of the machine like this. And that'll be that tank. And then, now it's pink. Okay, good. I'm glad we can break these ones. Let's get the pink stuff. And let's drain the pink out this way. Does that work? I don't think it does, guys. So what we're going to have to do is this is going to be a very compact system. I don't know if I can pick this glass back these tanks back up, so I'm worried. And I want that feeding into there. We have to test it. Oh, we can. Thank God. Oh, I was very worried there we wouldn't be able to pick these back up, but that was going to be a waste. So as you can see, you've got your pink slime, and then you've got your meat in here. And now it's just a matter of bringing these guys a bunch, which I don't have any on me, and then putting more water in the steam dynamo, making sure that doesn't run out, and uh, there we have it guys, after that, after that, this is going to be this episode, because it's been another really long episode, because, uh, you know, it's never as easy to think, so that's the end of this one but next episode we're gonna come back and we're gonna try and figure out how to make meat out of this one here there you go fill that bad boy back up close her off Get rid of these guys i'm gonna use this meat and cook it up because i'm just gonna be completely out of food i ate my last steak while making this steam dino so there you go guys um that's it we're gonna keep breeding these guys keep farming keep doing all the good stuff and uh, <laughs> we've finally progressed a bit and I want to know why I'm dropping down to 8 frames all of a sudden but there we go guys thank you for coming and watching I'm going to end this without moving because we are lagging like crazy have a wonderful and safe day and we'll see you guys in the next one peace